Hi, this is Wendy Northcutt. I write the Darwin Awards. Somehow, we, the citizens, are unanimously united in wanting our species to survive and wanting our children to survive. And there are some people who think that project is going just fine. But a growing majority of us think that project is not going fine. Today I am inspired by Richard Hallam's video, How to Stop the Climate Crisis in Six Months. He posted this six months ago. Sorry, Richard, but I only just now found it. Richard describes how many scientists, especially retired scientists with nothing to lose, confirm that we have fatally screwed up our planetary balance. The International Panel on Climate Change report in 2022 shows that we no longer have any carbon budget left, zero. We have already overshot the goal. In the 1980s, we had time to change our growth habits slowly, but we did not. Now we must change our growth habit abruptly. The survival of the species depends upon it. Otherwise, we'll win a Darwin Award. <clears throat> Richard lays out how to solve our predicament with six months of mass nonviolent protest. Everybody can pick a way to protest. He gives us many options, and I will add another great option. It's easy to do. Take a vow with me. I am going to make do with what I have. For six months, no more tangibles I don't absolutely need. Me, back in September, I bought a new iPhone when I already had a phone that works fine but has a crack. Stick with the crack. Save the planet's back. My papa says folks used to just make do with what they had. I was on a really tight budget in college, and I made do with what I had. As a kid, I had to make do with what I had. So this vow is easy. Buy whatever you need. Healthy food? Yes. Unhealthy food? Yeah, sure. Prescriptions? Yes. Eyeglasses? Yes. And thrift stores, for sure, yes. Almost everything is available in a thrift store with zero new carbon emissions. Household help, certainly. Services cause no harm to the planet. A back massage, a great restaurant meal, someone in to clean the house. For me, Pete's coffee is mandatory. I have to have my Pete's. Buy what you have to have. Buy past what you can live without for six months. If one person takes this vow, if it's only me, no difference to business as usual. But if one in 10 of us do this, it is a wake up shout. And if we all do this, if we all do this, we can rest assured that the planetary balance can and will be restored. I'll end this with some Arlo Guthrie. There's only one thing you can do, and that's walk into the shrink wherever you are. Just walk in and say, shrink, you can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant and walk out. You know, if one person, just one person does it, they may think he's really weird and they won't take him. And if two people, two people do it in harmony, they may think they're both TikTokers and they won't take either of them. And three people do it. Three, can you imagine three people walking into the shrink, singing a bar of Alice's restaurant, and walking out. They may think it's an organization. And can you, can you imagine 50 people a day? I said 50 people a day walking in, singing a bar of Alice's restaurant and walking out. And friends, they may think it's a movement. And that's what it is. The Alice's restaurant anti-massacre movement. And all you got to do to join is sing it the next time it comes around on the guitar. Here it comes. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back, just half a mile from the railroad track. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant.